Hi everyone, so some people has requested me uh, to remake a video on Grams number, so here it is. And specifically, uh, Googleplex versus Grams number, how big is Grams number, and can you beat Grams number with Googleplex, something like that. So anyway, let's get started. So first of all, we have to look at um, how big is Google, because Googleplex came from Google. So Google is one, I mean, one followed by 100 zeros, which is 10 to the power of 100. So if to write it down is 10000 with 100 zeros. Already is a very big number. And in fact, um, the number of atoms or particles in the entire observable universe is around 10 to the 80, which means a Google is bigger than the number of atoms in the observable universe. And how much bigger is 10 to the 20 times bigger because 10 to the 80 times 10 to the 20 is around, I mean, 10 to the 100, which is a Google. So is there a Google amount of something in the universe? No. Some people may say the number of Planck volumes in the observable universe is 10 to the 185. However, the Planck volume is not a physical volume. It's not a physical thing. It's not a physical object. It's just an imaginary volume. So if you only count something that is physical, then no. I mean, the smallest things probably, you know, particles, atoms, there's only 10 to the 80 of them. And now, how big is a Googleplex? So Googleplex is 10 to the power of a Google, so 10 to the 10 to the 100, which is one followed by a Google zero. So there are 10 to the 100 zeros over here. And since we know that uh, a Google is more than the number of atoms in the universe, therefore there are more zeros in a Googleplex than the number of atoms in the universe, which means even if you can write each zero on an atom, you will still run out of atoms in the universe. That's how big it is. And now, how big is Graham's number? So Graham's number, we know that is G64. So if, in order to understand this, we have to first look at G1, which is three, four arrows, three. So what is this thing? How big is this thing? So let's look at one arrow first. So three up arrow three. How big is that? It just means three to the three. It just means exponentiation, which is equal to three times three times three. And there are three threes, which is 27. So with two arrows, three double arrow three, it means three arrow three arrow three. Again, with three threes, except in between, they are single arrows which means three to the three to the three, which is again, three threes, which is three to the 27, because you start from the top to the bottom. So which is around 7.6 .6 trillion, again, much, much, much bigger than 27. And next, what about one more arrow? Three, triple arrow, three. How big is this? Is three, two arrow, three, two arrow, three. Again, with three threes, except in between now is double arrows. And this thing, um, again, we start from the right to the left. And since we already know that three double arrow three is 7.6 trillion, therefore this thing over here is equal to three double arrow 7.6 trillion, which is equal to three arrow three arrow three da 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 with 7.6 trillion which is equal to a power tower of three that is 7.6 trillion levels high. And in other words, a double arrow kind of stand for a power tower. As you can see over here, this is power tower of three with three high, and this is a power tower of three with 7.6 trillion levels high. So this is way, 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 way bigger than this thing over here, three double arrow three. And at this point, I have to bring up a common misconception that a lot of people in the comments, some people argue that three triple arrow three has 3.6 trillion digits, which is wrong. Thanks to the number file video, you know, um, they mislead people. Anyway, just one of them, they fixed that video. So they actually, the, um, the number that has 3.6 trillion digits is actually three double arrow four which is three, 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 with four threes over here, and which is equal to three to the three to the 27, which is three to the power of 7.6 trillion. And this number has around 3.6 trillion digits. And three triple arrow three has actually around three triple arrow three number of digits, around the same number, because number, this number is way, way, way too big. 
So now, um, what about Googleplex? So clearly you can see that Googleplex is way, way, way smaller than even G1 or even 3 triple arrow 3. How? So Googleplex 10 to the 10 to the 100 is actually smaller than 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. A power tower of 3 that is 5 high, which is equal to 3 double arrow 5. Or 3 arrow of this thing over here, 3 double arrow 4. So 3 arrow of this 3.6 trillion digits number. And um, so now people try to beat Graham's number with Googleplex. So first thing they can come up with is Googleplex times a Googleplex, which is how big is that? You know, does that be G1? So that's just equal to around 10 to the power of two times a Google, because that's how you work it out like that. And then so clearly not bigger than G1 or 3 triple arrow 3. So next, what they can come up with is uh, maybe Googleplex to the power of a Googleplex. So how big is that? Well, it's just around a Googleplexian. So 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 100, because that's how you work it out like that. And clearly it's way, way, way smaller than 3 triple arrow 3. Because again, this one only has four levels high, and three triple arrow three has seven point six trillion levels high, and clearly it doesn't beat that. So next, what about Googleplex double arrow Googleplex? So Googleplex, which means this is Googleplex to the power of Googleplex to the power of Googleplex da 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 for Googleplex number of times. So immediately people think this might actually work. So let's see. So Another way, actually, we can already kind of figure it out already is, um, well, this one clearly way bigger than 3 triple arrow 3, because 3 triple arrow 3 is just a power tower 3 with 7.6 trillion digits high. This thing over here is a Googleplex levels high. Googleplex is bigger than 7.6 trillion, so therefore this thing and the base is also bigger as well. So this is clearly bigger than 3 triple arrow 3. So now what about G1 with one more arrow, 3, 4 arrows, 3. So 3, 4 arrows, 3 is equal to 3, triple arrow 3, triple arrow 3. And one way to write it is like that. This is a tetrational tower. And we already saw the uh, power tower, you know, which is this way. And if you write it this way, then it becomes a tetrational tower, which is represented by three arrows. Two arrow represent power tower, three arrow represent tetrational uh, tower. So in this case, you can write G1 this way, so 3 to the 3 to the 3 this way for how many levels? 3 triple arrow 3 levels. And another way to write Googleplex double arrow Googleplex is this way. So, you know, Googleplex to Googleplex, this is how you write it in terms of tetrational ta uh, power tower. Um, and this is clearly way smaller than. 3, 3, 3, 3 with 4 threes over here, which is equal to 3, triple arrow 4, which is clearly smaller than 3, 4 arrows 3. Um, and then just another way to show you, 3, double arrow 3 is just 3 to the 3 in terms of tetrational tower, and 3, triple arrow 3 can be written this way, 3, 3, 3. So here, I mean, you can already tell even Googleplex, the way Googleplex is still way, way, way smaller than G1. So now in the last effort, you know, what about Googleplex, triple arrow, Googleplex? Can it beat G1? So this thing, you can write it this way. So in terms of tetrational tower, so Googleplex, da, 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 and the level is Googleplex. So still no, because this thing, this tetrational tower only has Googleplex levels high. However, for three triple arrow three, I mean three four arrow three, this tower is this high, and three triple arrow three is again way bigger than Googleplex. So no, even Googleplex, triple arrow Googleplex does not beat G one. So there you have it. It doesn't beat Graham's number, not even close. And what is G two? So G two is three with a lot of up arrows, and it has G one arrows, not five arrows, not six arrows. Not a Google arrows, but a G1 arrows, which is this crazy number over here. And Graham's number G64 is three, G63 arrows three. So now try to imagine how big it is. I think you cannot. So anyway, this is my video on Googleplex versus Graham's number. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.